he's on that regular pace of improvement. With them, those old linemen, man, about red shirt, sophomore, red shirt, junior, you start seeing him corner. He's had the benefit of consistent coaching, which is starting to show. And now he has a lot of one, two, and drive, and I'm, ex I'm excited for him. I made fun of him. I said he might have been living the college life too much. Now it's time to get ready for adult life. He's working. Coach Norvell was really, uh, really pleasantly, he was very happy with how DJU did during the scrimmage. What did you see from like the start of camp to now in terms of like progression for him? But he's been waiting for us to advance the install. He's a vet. So, you know, we've been keeping it simple just to learn the basics. Now we gave him a little bit of control, make a couple of checks. And so he got to kind of the stuff he likes so he looked more comfortable. Can you see things kind of slowing down or him kind of grasping the offense? Yeah, just a little bit more ownership, man. Same thing I saw, man, with all. I mean, as we install more and give them more control, they usually fit things to go what they do well. So we saw that big step with him because he just got here in January. Were any of the, uh, the younger line, did any of them stand out when you watched the film at the scrimmage? Did any of them really kind of step up to the moment? Yeah, I mean, we still got some steps to go, but I mean, I've been proud. I mean, those guys would get a lot of reps. Lucas, Otto. Um, Estes, I count him as a young guy just because of the experience. Jalen Early went with the ones. Um, uh, Estes went with the ones. So I've been getting a lot of mix and match, the good, good matchups, and I've been proud of what it mentally been up. What's to know about the running back group so far in camp? I guess what do you like about, about that group specifically? Just the ownership of the group. I mean, what I love about the running backs is, is that every play they're encouraging me. If, you, if I walk, go back and watch the scrimmage, Rodell is going to congratulate every LT on every big play. Because I was going to chase down Rodell. I mean, it's, it was just that complimentary of them supporting each other. And that's what that room has been. And a lot of karate, if you remember with LT and Trey, and because all those guys are unselfish, man, that continues to be that culture of that room. Overall, have you been encouraged by what you've seen in the running game, particularly this, this spring? It seemed like you busted some big ones even today. Yeah, I mean, you know, both sides are installed. You know, it comes down to obvious situations. Everybody's good, we're surprised. So now it's like, all right, it's third and one. It's it's, it's first and like Now, you, to me, to be the, the signature of a good football team is winning obvious situations. Everybody in the stadium knows the pass. Everybody in the world knows the run. Now what do you do? Now, you know, a couple of those were good plays and it's practice, so you will have those high-low moments, but I, we got to get better at obvious situations, and that's the goal of this offseason. I assume you guys knew that Jalen Lucas was fast, but how has he done kind of acclimating to the offense? Is there anything else about his skill set that's, that's stood out to you? Toughness. You know, he got, he got that little man syndrome, which I like. You know what I'm saying? He's attacking it. He's hitting it hard. I tell him he thinks he's, he thinks he's eight foot tall, and I love that about him because, I mean, he'll square up, and I, I like his toughness more than anything. What stood out about Malik Benson as he's got more acclimated within the offense? Confidence. You know, I, I, you know when you come in, you kind of kind of feeling your way through. But as he's got comfortable in it, I like his confidence. Now you're starting to see his personality come out by the way he plays, which is big personality. The receiver group is a whole. Who's, who's stood out among the receiver group? One more time. Who, who has stood out among the receiver group? Um, let me see. As far as stood out, I can't say like a standout, but I thought Hakeem Williams had made some strides in the last scrimmage. He made some big third down catches, which is he has to be able to do for us. So, you know, what I told him when the meeting was, we had the offensive meeting is, I can, we can step, we can strip you open, but I want to see everybody's covered down, everybody's one-on-one, -on -one, where are we going with the ball? And that's what the spring is, so who's going to be the go-to when everybody's covered